The copper chlorine cycle is a four-step thermochemical cycle for the production of hydrogen. The CuCl cycle is a hybrid process that employs both thermochemical and electrolysis steps. It has a maximum temperature requirement of about 530 degrees Celsius. The CuCl cycle involves four chemical reactions for water splitting, whose net reaction decomposes water into hydrogen and oxygen. All other chemicals are recycled. The CUCL process can be linked with nuclear plants or other heat sources such as solar and industrial waste heat to potentially achieve higher efficiencies, lower environmental impact and lower costs of hydrogen production than any other conventional technology. The CUCL cycle is one of the prominent thermochemical cycles under development within the generation IV International Forum. Through GIF, over a dozen countries around the world are developing the next generation of nuclear reactors for highly efficient production of both electricity and hydrogen. Process description. The four reactions in the CUCL cycle are listed as follows 2 Cu plus 2 hydrogen chloride, 2 copper, 1 chloride plus H2, 2 copper, 2 chloride plus H2O, Cu2 oxygen dichloride plus 2 hydrogen chloride. 2 Cu2 oxygen dichloride, 4 copper, 1 chloride plus O2. 2 copper 1 chloride copper 2 chloride plus Cu. Net reaction 2 H2O2 H2 plus O2 legend. Gas liquid aqueous solution. The balance of the species are in a solid phase. Atomic Energy of Canada Limited has demonstrated experimentally a copper 1 chloride electrolyzer in which hydrogen is produced electrolytically at the cathode and Cu is oxidized to Cu at the anode, thereby combining above steps 1 and 4 to eliminate the intermediate production and subsequent transport of solid copper. Approximately 50% of the heat required to drive this reaction can be captured from the reaction itself. The other heat can be provided by any suitable process. Recent research has focused on a cogeneration scheme using the waste heat from nuclear reactors specifically the Kandu supercritical water reactor. Advantages and disadvantages Advantages of the copper chlorine cycle include lower operating temperatures, the ability to use low-grade waste heat to improve energy efficiency, and potentially lower cost materials. In comparison with other thermochemical cycles, the CUCL process requires relatively low temperatures of up to 500 30 degrees Celsius. Another significant merit of this cycle is a relatively low voltage that is required for the electrochemical step. The overall efficiency of the CUCL cycle has been estimated to be just over 43%, excluding the additional potential gains of utilizing waste heat in the cycle. Solids handing between processes and corrosive working fluids present unique challenges for for the engineering equipment development. Among others, the following materials are being currently used. Spray coatings, nickel alloys, glass-lined steel, refractory materials, and other advanced materials. 